Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. If you're using PFSense like I do, and you want to set up that network-wide blocking for ads or protecting against tracking and telemetry on malicious websites, you're going to use PF Block or NG on PFSense because that's the way to go if you're doing PFSense and you want to have ad blocking features. But then, if you're a little bit overwhelmed by PF Block or NG because there are a lot of options there. And by the way, I've created a video. Check it out if you want to set it up. But if that's a little bit overwhelming to maintain and to configure to set it up, there is another option you can use on PFSense, which will give you that same network wide ads protection, blocking against ads and blocking tracking and telemetry using that DNS sync call option. And it runs on PFSense. So that means you don't need an additional device to set it up in your home. Let me show you how. Let's get into it. And the option we will use is AdGuard Home. It runs on PFSense on FreeBSD. It's completely open source and it has the same functionality as what PF Blocker NG would give us. That means a network wide ads and tracker blocking DNS server. In order to set this up on PFSense, it means we will have to do some things using SSH, the command prompt. That means that if you have official support on your PFSense, maybe this is not the way to go. Or in, keep in mind that you have something else running in there, um, which can uh, be a violation of your support contract. Just something to keep in mind. So that means we will have to enable SSH. Before we do that, I will need a specific package on PFSense, which is an official package, install it. Let's go to the install packages, find the shell command, the shell CMD package. This is a package we will need in order to start the Edgar home service on every boot of PFSense. So install this package and let's go to my services and my DNS resolver. Change the DNS resolver port to listen to for something else. In my case, I've uh, set up port 5353 because if we're going to run AdGuard Home, AdGuard Home will be running as a DNS server on port 53. Uh, so port 53 needs to be um, needs to be available. So that means that the DNS resolver from a PFSense needs to listen on another port. So I change it to 5353, click on save, apply the changes, wait for it to finish, and then let's enable SSH. System, go to system advanced, and then scroll down to the SSH server, enable secure shell, go to the bottom and click on save. Wait for it to finish and update it. All right, they have been applied successfully. And I will now go and log in using my putty client on my PFSense firewall. So now you need to make sure that you choose option eight, which is the shell option. And here we are. So in order for AdGuard Home to install on PFSense, we need to create a directory for it. Let's create an OPT directory. Let's switch over to that OPT directory. And what we will do is we will fetch the latest version of AdGuard Home for FreeBSD. Just visit the, visit the GitHub page and as of speaking, the latest version is the 0 0.10.8. Let's copy the link for FreeBSD. And we want the AMD version. Copy link. Move over to our putty clients and paste it. Give it a moment to download. So now this file is sitting on my PFSense firewall. We will need to extract this. Let's do the next section. It created a AdGuard home directory. So let's go to that AdGuard home directory. 
and we can see add cart home is actually sitting there. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start up add cart home so we can do some configuration. Now let's just start it. It will immediately tell you because it's detecting that it has been run the uh, first time. So we need to go to a specific URL. In this case, I'm going to my land URL, which is the bottom one. Copy paste that. As you can see here, the port is the port number is 3000. Enter that here. And now we are in the setup uh, wizard. Click on get started. Of course, this is a problem, but we will bind and got home only to my LAN interface. So select your LAN interface here. I will change the admin web interface to 8089 just to make sure that I'm not, um, that I don't have a conflict with another port number on my PFSets firewall. For the DNS server, I will do the same. I only wanted to listen on my internal interface, on my LAN interface. Port 50D is perfectly fine because I already changed my dns resolver to listen to another port so i know that port 53 is open and available on my pfsense so when i've set off two things up let's click on next set up a name to log in create a password and we are nearly done in the configuration of add card home so Let's log in with the account we just created. I don't want to save. And you will immediately see that the object check failed. That's because AdGuard Home needs to have a upstream DNS server to, uh, to check for versions and to update, etc. So what I will do is go to settings. These are just basic settings I need to do in AdGuard Home for now. Go to settings, DNS settings, and then set up my pfsense firewall as the ip address and then i know that i want to use the unbound server as an upstream so this is fine for me and at the same time i want to have it listening for my local dns name or dns zone and this is the way to do that. And it is also 1.1, 1 .1, 53, 53. So this is the local unbound server on my PFSense, which I want to use as a upstream server for Adgut Home. Of course, you can use uh, Cloudflare, you can use Quad9, you can use Google, another DNS server. So you can just enter them here. You can see here that this is the syntax and the examples on how to enter different DNS servers. So now I've set this up. I will just copy over this part and set it up as a fallback as well. Also, my bootstraps will be in there. And it's the same for the private DNS servers because I want Adgard Home to resolve the client host names from PFSense, which are registered in the unbound DNS resolver. That's the that's also one of the reasons I'm using Unbound as a upstream DNS server. So then uh, Edgard Home can make sure that it displays the actual client host names in my network. So I will click on test upstreams. Everything is testing out fine. You can see it here. Click on apply. Scroll down to the bottom and click on save configuration. Now I know that Edgard Home is set up to use Unbound Resolver as an upstream DNS server, and it will then be able to resolve host names for me. And also, when I set up Edgard Home, it will be able to reach out to the internet and pull the host, the, well, the block list uh, and fill the database. So now that Edgard Home is set up, let's go back to PFSense, and specifically to my PuTTY host, in my PuTTY session, because Edgard Home is still running on the command line. I want it now to be started every time that I reboot or boot up my PFSense firewall. If I enter com control C here or close it, this uh, PuTTY session, Edgard Home will stop working, right? Because if I go back to my Edgard Home tab, you can see now 
it is not working anymore. It's not doing anything anymore. I can click on something, nothing is working because the server has been shut down because I stopped the session in the putty client. The next part is to set up AdGuard Home to start automatically. So let's go back to PFSense interface and remember that one package we installed, that shell command one, just click it and say that you will add a new entry. And the new entry here is this command. This is the command you need to enter there. This is the first part is the directory where AdGuard Home is living. This is one. And then the second part is basically doing the same command as we did in our putty session to a startup AdGuard Home. So if I enter this command in the command prompt in my putty session, let's go back here and click on enter. You can see that Edgard Home is now starting up and it's perfectly fine listening on only those specific interfaces. So that's fine. If I hit control C, it will stop again. So I need to make sure this, that this is running every time that PFSEN starts. So enter it in the shell command, give it a description, Edgard Home, click on save. And let's quickly reboot PFSense. Just do a normal reboot. It will close the putty session, of course. This is fine. Let's wait for it to reboot. All right, PFSense has rebooted. Let's log in quickly. And let's see if Edgar Home has automatically come up. If I switch to the tab of Edgar Home, if I refresh the page, wow, it's working. Click on the dashboard, we can already see some query be, queries being answered by PFSense, by Edgar Home running on PFSense. Click on the query log, and you can actually see the name of that workstation that Jump Host I'm using. It is resolving fine as well because this name is entered in the unbound resolver as a static entry. And this way, we can set up Edgar Home for DNS blocking on PFSense. You don't have to set up a different device in your network, in your home, just install it on your PFSense firewall itself. It's perfectly supported. It's open source, runs perfectly fine on FreeBSD, and it will even update if you install it the way I showed you in this video. Of course, PF Blocker NG provides you the same feature sets and the same functions, but PF Blocker NG can be a little bit overwhelming if you need to do something quickly and uh, very fast. Well, Edgar Home is a little bit more user-friendly to see why something is not working or to troubleshoot quickly and whitelist some DNS entries you need to have something in your network working again. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below. It will help out my channel a lot. If you have comments, leave it in the comment section below. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. For now, take care and see you soon. Bye.